morning, I should say good afternoon. Bert and I finally made it out. This is today's outfit. Um, sir, we had a late night last night because Brandon planned a date day, which we have a full video on that. But we haven't really explored much of Brooklyn, so we are gonna be doing that today. Do some thrift shopping. There's a restaurant that we went to ages ago called Okonomi that we are gonna be revisiting today for a late lunch, so. Turned us down because they're fully booked. Did we bike even the other day? Good luck. Going All to right. another one called Urban Jungle. I know. Good morning friends, today is Sunday. I had a little bit of a slower start to this morning. We went out last night and went to a comedy show at the Comedy Cellar, had a great time. We went there and a couple weeks ago we went to Gotham Comedy and both had a really, really great time. But at Comedy Cellar, it's a little bit bigger. So I think the people that came were a little bit bigger and I think everyone was honestly a little bit funnier. So this morning I made myself my tub of matcha and I actually spilled like the entire thing on the counter. I don't have like a hand whisk here with me. I've been using literally like this tiny whisk at the apartment that we're staying at. So it's been a little bit of a struggle. So I've had to run my matcha through a strainer just so it's not so chunky. And it's been making a big, 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 big difference. My matcha tastes so much better now and less chunks. But today is Sunday. So it's kind of like a little reset cleaning day. I did some dishes this morning. I washed all of my little reusable rounds that I brought with me. This is actually about just about all the ones that I brought with me and every week or so I have to wash and reuse them which is actually fine with me because it's sustainable and 
it kind of matches up with Sunday, a little like reset situation. And I actually do have to clean my makeup brushes at some point as well. So maybe I will do that a little bit later. It is August 14th and I'm starting to feel a little bit homesick. I literally had dreams of like getting home and opening all of my packages. I started thinking about my studio back at home, especially because Brian and I got to New York July 26th. So it's been three weeks that we've been here. So it's been quite a long time. We still have another two weeks to go. So I'm starting to feel a little homesick, but we're actually out of this apartment in a couple of days and then we go into a new apartment in Manhattan so it's been really fun staying in Brooklyn and we really really like it we want to explore a little bit more and maximize our time here while we're still staying in Brooklyn look who's back he brought me rest and daughter but this bagel is another one of mine and Brandon's favorites oh did you crack caviar cream cheese New York first time trying. It's a little bit cold because delivery took a while. Okay, Brandon. You wanna try some? No. Whoa, that's kind of crazy. Hello. We finally made it out. We are actually headed to explore some of the stores in Brooklyn. Brian wants to go to Birkenstock. Yep. He's newly obsessed. We need to get a speed scrap. Yeah, right now it's already 3.30, but actually it's only 80 degrees and it feels nice and cool today. What's the bag? This is Brandon's cutie outfit. We've got some vintage pants, his Burks that he loves. A little tea? Where's that tea from? Easy tea. Easy? Yeah. And then he's got a little Fear God hat. And the Origins tote bag. bag. Shout out to Origins. later and then we also have some friends that we might try to meet up with later tonight it's a very loose day but it's pretty cool out so perfect awesome. day and this morning Brandon I got decided, dressed and Brandon decided seen to wear the same my outfit. Uh, seen something in my outfit she's like I like your outfit 
I'm gonna wear the same thing. <laughs> Actually, I put on mine without looking at yours. I think Brandon pulls inspiration from me. Yeah, right, buddy. lunch at Okonomi. It was freaking lit. The other day we went and they literally turned us down because they were completely booked. They just have like set lunches. So I had the standard set, Brandon had the large. It's a perfect amount of food for me. You full? No, it was perfect. Yeah, yeah it, was it was perfect. perfect. So it was a solid meal. If, if you're in Brooklyn and wanting like a quick, easy, kind of like healthy Japanese lunch, really liked it. But we're actually on the way to a vintage store that we really liked the other day called 10 Feet Single. And we're gonna meet some friends there that we haven't seen since we lived in Seattle. And they're here in New York at the same time as us. set up in like the most suspicious way. It always looks suspicious, but it's fine. Today, Brian and I did quite a bit of vintage shopping and I successfully was able to find a lot of stuff. But we did a lot of shopping today in Williamsburg, but there's a lot of really good stores in Soho as well. So we actually moved into our Soho apartment in a couple of days and we're definitely excited to start shopping once we're out there. But we popped into the store the other day. This is from Kira Thrift kind of like in Manhattan. Some of their prices were crazy, but Brandon picked up a pair of like linen pants for $45 and these fit me. So I most definitely will be wearing them. And I actually just posted about this on my Instagram, but every time we go out and vintage shop thrift, it's not like standard thrifting. We're looking for like high quality materials, fit. I specifically am looking for like silk and linen pieces because those are timeless pieces that will forever stand the test of time that I can take with me to Europe. It's perfect for summer when it's really hot. And there's a store that we went back to because I loved a lot of the pieces that they had and it was called 10 Feet Under in Brooklyn. They had such a big curated selection. I was able to pick up these brown silk pants. On camera it looks really like orangey brown but it's like a deep rich chocolate. Is very cute and these are actually pretty long on these and then i also picked up another pair of linen pants and i'm really excited about these because they're wide leg so a lot of my pants are kind of like a tapered fit or a men's fit but these fit my waist perfect they're kind of a wide leg i love like the taupey brown colors my legs are also covered in bug bites and it's also been hot so pants like these are great because i can protect the bugs but also not die from like sweat because the material is so nice 
Um, a lot of the times when I'm thrifting too, I look for things that are made in Italy or France because a lot of the times that's like harder to find. You can't really buy a lot of pieces from made in Italy or France for like cheap. So when I go thrifting, that's kind of like what I'm looking for. This is 100% silk blouse. It's kind of like an off white cream color, super cute. Um, and this one I picked up for $30. Okay, that's like, you can't even get a brand new shirt from Aritzia for that much. And then I got a couple hats. This is actually for my friend Nam. She tried this on last time as like a joke and now she's obsessed. So this is for you, Nam. And then I also got a cute little Bucky hat that it might be too hot to wear this in summer, but actually when I put it on, it's kind of a joke. I was like, wait, the fit's actually really cute and it's made in Paris. Got a certified troublemaker over here. Ew. Good morning. Brushing out the door today with no makeup on because I'm going to a facial. friends I'm finally back home just had a nice little meal and doing some work on the couch and I'm so tired I had a facial earlier this morning and I also got my laptop back she's back she's fixed two weeks later it was so funny watching back the old videos and thinking that I could soak it in rice and it would fix it <laughs> so anyways $700 and another laptop later. I have a new laptop for Brandon to use, so that is actually exciting. I was worried that we wouldn't get it until after we left because they just took so long. Apparently, like, the Apple warehouse is really backed up. But came back from a facial earlier today, and my skin looks so good. I used some acids and peels on my skin, so I'm actually going to start peeling in a couple of days, lightly flaking and the esthetician said that because he is using like acids to really deeply exfoliate and get deep deep under the skin that's what's causing the peeling and flaking so i want to get some of these like deep deep dark scars and really even out my skin so we need to go like we need to get it really really in there you know so that felt great this morning. We actually are going to an event later today. Brandon's out with one of his buddies. They're grabbing some lunch, which we're eating in a couple of hours. Sometimes I don't really understand Brandon's timing. You make it okay. hard to breathe. Ooh, ooh. I'm tired of the people that talk about nothing, and I'm not wasting this moment. Even though I know that letting you go would be great. Say, think you know I want you for myself. I don't need anybody else. up to pack up my apartment 